it's Steve here again from Propeller Warehouse and today we, um, we've been getting a lot of emails from you guys basically asking why are propellers expensive, how are they made and you know what is the processes and is there any new technologies. So I think we can answer that. We've got an awesome uh, factory video tour that I'd like to present to you now. The QPIM Propeller Factory was started in 2020, just before COVID. So the factory has had an initial investment of over 10 million US dollars and is certified in all areas of quality assurance, quality control. Our factory has its own in-house uh, design and um, all all in-house facilities to, to complete propeller manufacturing. These are the moulds. These are the heart of the company. And each of those moulds you just saw uh, are around 10 to 15,000 US dollars. APC casting refers to aluminium casting. This is the latest technology in, uh, available today in, uh, in the world. And much of our factory runs 24-7. So it's incredibly efficient, takes advantage of um, savings of uh, energy uh, through the night, things of that nature. The, the casting technology does away with um, a lot of error, human error, and uh, has um, in a lot of ways uh, uh, fully robotic. So it's the most advanced factory producing propellers in the world. Obviously with the number of propellers that you're seeing right now, the, that is one of the reasons why we can supply on demand um, at any time very, very quickly. The manufacturing um, and the supply uh, processes are, are, are quite fast. Um, from here in the storage they go to the machining. You're seeing a lot of uh, CNC machining here now um, and milling. So heat treatment is also done in-house. Again, the very latest technology and of course robots. Robotics are the main thing that allow us to produce propellers more efficiently than anyone else. So less, less labourers, less work health safety, less everything. The painting has now just been improved to go from um, powder coating through to a liquid painting process, which is about five uh, separate coats. It's a very advanced uh, painting process. And of course, digital scanning uh, means that we can uh, produce new blades very, very quickly, modify them, change them. Um, and the uh, latest technology again is used in, in scanning for propellers. Obviously, batch numbers are done with X-ray floor detection um, as part of the uh, ISO standards. Um, okay, there you saw um, an individual hand, hand packing because somebody's got to inspect it. The technology is still not there for inspection to that, so the, we, we rely on the human side of it. The images you're seeing now is how stainless steel props are made. They're made from a wax pattern. And this is a fairly fast process. It's a little bit more modern uh, process than what has been going on the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, there you can see the, uh, the bowls and that's the wax pattern which will be now coated with a ceramic, uh, ceramic uh, coating or a number of ceramic coatings because when that ceramic coating over that wax is, um, is dry, it, the, the wax is, uh, is, is melted and you have a shell which is what you're seeing there now. The shell of the reverse casting is what we're pouring the uh, special brew of stainless steel. Um, uh, metal into um, and then of course there's a number of processes then for machining the stainless steel propellers checking pitch blocking pitch blocks are there to um, to correct any deformity that happens in the cooling process and of course everything is double checked uh, for blade height um, and any obvious um, uh, uh, optical um, uh, visual things that you can see Quite a number of processes in the stainless steel uh, production, which is one of the reasons why they're 
uh, quite, can be quite expensive. This is an important part. Drag polishing is, uh, is it, it's really quite fast um, and it's uh, very, very efficient. Otherwise, each propeller could take, you know, 12 hours to polish by hand. It, it's just the way to go. Thank you for watching.